Hey everybody, welcome back to Mars. We're having a wonderful time on this glorious, I don't know, whatever day it is for you. Uh, we're inviting people in to our wonderful establishment. Now it says this has to be connected to an oxygen producer, which uh, kind of implies to me that there is no oxygen. And uh, I think it's just because we never needed oxygen on this side. I don't have any actual producers lined up. So I'm just going to grab and have my own local source for this. And that's actually a really important thing. I'm, so I'm glad the game reminded me of that. So let's put a couple of oxygen producers here and here. We'll put another one on this side. And we'll connect it up like this. Fine. Then we'll get one of the big old oxygen tanks. And I think we'll pop this right here. And actually, you know what? I don't want this on this side. I've changed my mind. I don't want these on this side because we're gonna put the rare metals stuff on this side too, which I'm actually gonna do this right now. I'm gonna pop this uh, like so, about there. Uh, we can we can just do all the oxygen here. It's not a big deal. Um, and also the tanks can go right here next to it, like. Yeah, like this. this. Whatever. It looks like this. So we have some scrubbers kind of already set up over here. And I'm considering just expanding my scrubber network this way. But at least that's what I was planning to do. But it's more resources to do that. There's All you really need are a couple of um, scrubbers to just take care of each other. Now check out the rain, man. Rain, man. Yeah, rain, man. That's awesome. This is toxic rain, of course. So it's uh it's not that awesome. <laughs> it could be could be worse, but it's not that awesome. Toxic cranes will harm any plant life struggling to survive in the harsh Martian soil and degrade it even further. They create toxic pools where nothing grows, and toxic pools can be cleaned up by drones. <clears throat> Pure rainfall, however, is greatly beneficial to plants and will improve the local soil quality when it occurs. So we want great pure rainfall, right? And uh, if we take a look at this, it says that um Toxic rain start at 25% atmosphere, 25% temperature. What we need for regular clean rains, I think, is the same. Like, we just need, like, we're going to get clean rains anyway. But every once in a while, you'll get toxic ones. So we're starting off our first rain is going to be a toxic one. When we get to 55 and 55% up here, well, then we start, we'll never have toxic rains again. Actually, no, I'm wrong on this. It does say clear water rains start right here. Okay, clear water rains will start at 40, 40, and 10. So we'll actually make that in this video. We're going to get to 40% atmosphere in this video. So right now, everything is toxic. It's very green, and it sucks. Um, but drones will clean it up, right? That's what drones do. They always clean it up. Looks like I need an extra power producer right here. Let's connect to this. Can we uh can we accelerate the scrubber, please? Hmm? Can we get the scrubber done? We don't have any electronics, man. Like this is actually pretty just pretty depressing. <laughs> we don't have any. Put that power right there to connect it directly. Let's come back over here. I want to spend most of my time over here today. Getting this place set up. We have a couple of domes over there that have lots of homeless. We have people with um well, yeah, they're homeless, they're jobless. They're going to migrate over here. They're going to use the shuttle network to do that. So a lot of these shuttles have passengers. And the passengers will then, you know, start to live over here. Which is nice. So we have a living space here. Very good. We need locally produced oxygen. So I'm just going to connect the power cables like so. This one's connected to the dome already. I believe this doesn't need power. Might be wrong on that. Yeah, but it's going to start getting oxygen put into it. Hopefully. Oh, hang on. Auto save happening right as something else happens. New special project. Capture ice asteroids. All right. So we can do this again if we'd like to. And um, get more water. And I think we do. The Mars Quake thing, I'm not all that concerned about it. At the moment, anyway. I might get concerned about it later, but I'm not really right now. It looks like we can also import greenhouse gases again if we like, if we'd like to. I'll just do this over and over again. But we'll go ahead and send this. Uh, Curiosity's refueling. Oh, you know what? We'll deviate Curiosity this one time to go capture some more ice asteroids. So instead of exporting the rare metals, 
this time. We're going to let it take off and do its thing. I like that. Cool. All right, let's come back over to here. I, I'm not making new shuttles right now. I was before, but I'm not anymore. I think we have enough just... But once we get the electronics production up and running, at that point, then we can work on that. So it looks like we just don't have enough power production locally. What is going on with that? Let me take a look at this. Do we have this off? Yes, we have this off. That's why. Turn this on and turn this on. That should connect this to the rest of the grid. Excellent. It does indeed. Okay. So now we're going to get... Wow. Now my videos are going to need... like We're going to have rendering problems, I think. I'm going to have to... Uh, Maybe worry about my camera and where it's positioned, because this right here will really screw up the quality of a video, man. So I'll, I'll try to position my camera where it's not super messy there. But at some point, I can't avoid it, right? So this path is being constructed. That'll hook this up to everything else, too. A colonist has died. Why are you dying? Low health? Well, I mean, no, it's in the Renegade Dome, I guess. We could maybe put in an infirmary... I guess. Where the hell is it? Right here. You want it for an infirmary? Fine. It'll get, make you more healthier, I guess. Um, let's also... We're getting upgrade service bots on all of these. All of the grocers. Which is sucking down a lot of electronics, too. That's the primary thing that's sucking down electronics, is a lot of this. So, we can turn this on 24-7 now. Because they're, they're going to be completely automated... They're just bots that are doing it all the time, so. Very good. You can come in here any time of day you want. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Freaking deer. Someone's best friend. A llama and a deer. Cross each other. What do they say? What, do a, what does a llama say to a deer? That's definitely the start of a joke. I don't know what the punchline is, but that's definitely the start of a joke. You know what? If you're creative enough, tell me the punchline of that joke. What did the llama say to the deer? Or vice versa. You could do what did the deer say to the llama? You know? I'm I'm all for it. You can figure it out. <laughs> uh, we're going to want to get this upgraded too. But I think the biggest thing is getting at least one of these electronics factories running. So we want to have this be the highest priority for everyone. And that means bringing all available electronics to this depot as fast as we can. I'm going to have another depot dedicated to electronics. It's going to be placed, I think, right in the middle here because we're going to be producing a bunch of them. Let's move the rare metals depot to here. Yeah, as long as both can access it. Uh, and then what I want to make sure I do, though, is we need to filter these so I don't mess this up so no idiots no renegades and also over here just making sure no idiots no renegades good okay now i'm also putting in playground stuff a school we're gonna allow kids over here too we don't have enough education at all i think we have two schools in the whole colony that might be a good percentage of our renegade problem too so we're gonna want to take care of that as well we're gonna get another these waste rock things. I'm going to put it like right up against this. And then I think also we'll get a passage ramp. I want to have some farms and stuff over here. Do we need the ramp though? I mean, they could just go through the dome. Yeah, whatever. We'll do it. Uh, we're going to have some outdoor farms and stuff like that too. You can see this. The ranch is doing goats. Huh? Growing goats or raising goats. Yes, raising goats. Oh, renegades. Two concrete stolen from Clem's disgust. I am disgusted. Large oxygen tank. It's got a pretty good increase here. These are great. We can also get these to be uh, magnetic filtering, so we just have even more oxygen. Not that we really need it, but the more oxygen we're outputting, the more farms we can have, especially if we have another dust storm. Because we'll have bigger tanks. Although, honestly, another dust storm would suck so bad that I just don't want to think about it at this race. Because, like, the amount of piping we have is just... It's absurd. 
I'd really rather not. <laughs> we'll get this dome connected to its own supply. This dome is kind of connected to its own supply here via these pipes. And then this is also being fed to the rest of the colony as well. And I think probably because we have so much water, um, this supply, as you can see, is, is going there. If we need to, for some reason, like leaks or another storm or whatever, we can cut the supply, send to the main colony so that this has its own oxygen and water. And they can, these two domes can just feed off of its own storage, right? So any problems over there don't affect the supply over here and vice versa. We can cut that anytime we want to. It's, um, well, it's obvious. It's nice. I don't have to really explain it. I don't think beyond that. Um, okay. So yeah, this is the big thing. I want all hands on deck for this building right here. Electronics factory. It's gotta happen, please. We're importing greenhouse gases. Just gotta get to 40% and then we have good soil quality. And then also if we have the resources to do it, which we're starting to get more polymers. So yeah, kind of. Let's get the forestation plants up and running too. We can put one right between these two domes here. And also another one maybe over like so. And then maybe another one right over here as well. Just inside. And it doesn't need to be inside anybody's range here. I'll just do it here. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just connect it to power really quick. Seems good. And that'll make this whole area green too. Because there's no point, you know, to being all the way over here and then not trying to terraform it, too. Let's make it green. Huge lake. Yeah, it's... So the lakes, if you, if you didn't know the game, the lakes improve soil quality around them. So we're going to get, like, really good green spots. This darker soil is more fertile. It's higher quality soil for growing things. Uh, it's more likely to have grass and trees and stuff spawn near it more carbonate processors up and running still no nothing on the scrubber huh i mean i have the machine parts to deal with this so it's not that big of a deal but i think i will make it normal priority actually so that more of the electronics can be sent over here we're still at five out of 15 damn import greenhouse gases is done we are now over 40 percent which means pure rains are now possible. Import greenhouse gases, just a few of the falling rocks delivered by autonomous crafts from Earth were visible to the naked eye. But a large scale project has been completed today. Several hundred tons of rocks used to suck out and store greenhouse gases from the atmosphere on Earth have been delivered to the surface of Mars. By crash landing them all over the planet, we have triggered a chemical reaction that dissolves the rocks and contributes towards thickening the Martian atmosphere by unleashing the stored gases. Okay. So we're over 40% and pure rains are now possible. Uh, yeah. Initially, because of the gases used, the rains will be toxic, but the quality of the atmosphere improves. Pure rainfall will take hold. That's what we want. Okay, good. So that's great. That's a good, that's a really good milestone. Every time we have a pure rain, like universally, all the soil quality is going to improve. And that's, that's really, really good. We just have to make sure that we have all the little lichen and stuff so that uh, we can actually have, you know, things growing. And I think um, there's a lot of water here, man. Jesus, there's a lot of water here. This is a really good source of water for the whole colony, really. I mean, there's just so much over here. I had kind of forgotten how much there was. This is a really high source of... Oh, man. Can we get domes? Can we get a dome here and then over there and ah uh, we're gonna need another dome over here for this just a little one ah uh, go on now maybe the trigon dome it's not a little one but it's got an interesting shape to it which makes it interesting because in it's interesting shape therefore it's interesting didn't you hear what i said <laughs> of course uh, what's that you said interesting is interesting yeah i did that's it's crazy i don't know how that works I think um, I could put the Dragon Dome here. Have just enough people living here. Ah, the thing is, they're not going to have all the services that they want. and They're going to be needy. I have to have needy people. Maybe one triangle here, and then another one can be over here, and we'll just connect them with a... Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, fine. I think we'll ro let this rock. We'll go right about here. This is good. And then we'll have another triangle dome kind of right over like so. And we'll connect this one. Ooh, barely. Yep, that's good. We'll connect this one with a, with a passage, and then they'll be able to have their services and stuff split between these. But, uh, you know, Trigon Dome's pretty cool. I like the Trigon Dome. It's nice. I don't use them very often, but, yeah. It's cheaper. An alternative to the Medium Dome. But it has less habitable space. I think it can also have a spire as well. I think that central piece does support spires. At least it looks like it does. This little... It comes to a point like it does, so. But I don't use them very often, so I never really, uh, I don't really know. All right, um, this we need to automate. Not yet. Stop spending electronics. <laughs> Spend them on the building that makes electronics, okay? I'm going to let this run for a little while, I think. The meteor storm is going to be a little bit of an issue, too. Do I need to spend electronics to protect the domes? Unfortunate as it is, I think that's a really good idea. So we're going to put one... We're going to put one here. I want to protect that water, though, too. Yeah, we'll put one here. And we'll put another one, let's say, right next to this water supply. Right here. This provides adequate protection from a lot of things that we care about. And then I think one more can go over here. Just so that it doesn't hit the water and the lines and all that stuff. So we put one right about... Eh. Kind of don't want it to be getting hit by that extractor. I guess I could put it right next to this. How about there? I know. Stop spending electronics. I know. <laughs> but it's going to be a meteor shower. What do you want me to do? Not spend electronics? Fine. Let's not spend electronics. We'll put these as low priority so that it doesn't do them. Um, at least it doesn't do them right away. I still want them done, but not right away, I guess. Finally starting to get deliveries of new electronics here. So. I will let this run a little bit. And I'll be right back. Okay. So, I was really hoping it wasn't going to hit Harry again. And it didn't hit anything really critical. It just hit this uh, this pipe. So, the meteor shower has started, by the way. Welcome back. Um, what was a blink of an eye for you has been, uh, I don't know, quite a few minutes for me. It's all good. We're going to replace that pipe now. And uh, thankfully, it didn't even wreck our fuel, which is a lot of fuel. So, please don't wreck it. I think I should probably get... I wonder if there's, like, fuel storage that's impervious to meteors. It sounds really stupid when you say it out loud, doesn't it? Like, oh, look, you mean storage that's not going to get ruined by a meteor strike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that exists. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. It doesn't exist. So we've got a whole bunch of these carbonate processors working. This is still not built. It's a low priority. Magnetic field generator is finally done. And it takes a lot of electronics to make that too. So this is the primary function. This is the primary thing. Function? No. The focus, okay, is right here. We got to get this thing, this stupid thing built. We got a lot of people that have moved over here and they don't have a whole lot of jobs right now. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to maybe go ahead and pause the automation section of this excursion just pause that really quick and maybe we uh yeah take down the casino we don't need that right now the school but that is a lower priority too it looks to me though that the meteor shower is kind of hitting us well in a place where we don't really care i guess we have adequate protections i don't even see it coming down right now oh Sorry, I was confused. See, the meteor struck, and I thought the storm began. Turns out it's not. It hasn't even started yet. Seven hours. Okay, never mind. Up here would be a kind of cool place to make a dome, too. We could get all these sources. Look at the size of this source. The thing is, we just don't need it, you know? The space elevator, man. I think we put the space elevator right on top of this hill. Why not? The shuttles are going to bring it all there anyway, right? I think we put the space elevator up here. Just really far away from the colony, whatever. So, pretty much everything in our research queue right now is 
uh, just, you know, adaptive vegetation. It's all of the, uh, the research stuff for terraforming. It's not the space elevator. I'm going to get the space elevator on there, uh, orbital engineering, but although it doesn't take electronics to build it, that would be very good for getting electronics to, brought to us. Oh, that's so tempting. But the Omega telescope, we can't, we don't, the thing is the Omega telescope would absolutely help us in making orbital engineering cheaper. But we can't build it. We just don't have the electronics. And we can get the electronics with the space elevator. So, okay, this is going number one. Sorry. Just is. We'll do that now. So, anyway. If we can get some of these factories up, five more electronics, and this factory gets, like, completely ready to rock, you know? We get a university set up after that. And uh, we start training engineers. We get a ton of engineers in this in this zone. We start kicking out electronics like, I don't know, like my wife kicks out soup. It's just soup. She just loves soup. I don't know. I went for it. It didn't work. Let me also put, uh, we're going to put a scrubber right here, I guess. Right here. I think this will cover the center of the dome. It'll also cover this stuff, which most importantly, it will cover that stuff. Uh, okay. I need to let it run. Meteor Storm is here. I wish I could click this and, like, zoom in on where it is. Okay, it's over here. Could be worse. Uh, it's probably going to hit our stuff. But this is idle anyway, so who cares? Bye. And we could actually take this drone hub down and bring the electronics over. Ooh, I like that idea, actually. We don't need any of this stuff. Let's break this stuff down before the meteors can destroy it. Yes, I think so. Before the meteors destroy this, this is a tactical retreat, is what this is. Yep. Right like this. We break it all down ourselves, and then the meteors can't do it for us. It's perfect. We take all this all the supplies. Right? Oh what? Yeah, yeah. Tear it down. Eliminate it. Remove it all. And then I want uh I see I really don't want Timmy here though. Timmy's right here. He's very close. Let's go, Timmy. It's time to be brave, buddy. Domes without life support. Excuse me? Oh, the Trigon domes are built. Really? You guys are building these fast. This one's outside drone commander range, but yeah, that was very fast. I mean, I guess it was right here, so I oh, am. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know what else to build here. Can you take spires? You can. Very cool. Put our college in here. And then, yeah, this is more electronics production. Absolutely. Uh, we'll just uh, go ahead and get um, apartments on this side here. And then we'll go and get, let's say, probably one security station, at least on this side. We'll get a grocer put in on this side. We'll get an infirmary put in on this side. And just in case I want to put another thing over here, I think we'll leave this spot here open so we can go like that if we need to. I don't know if we'll need to, but I'm going to leave this open for now too, just for the connection here. And then uh, I think we put another electronics factory in here. Low priority. But I think we put a big ass factory right here. Or here. Where would If we're going to make another dome, where would we put it? Probably here. Or here. I mean, it could really go anywhere. So I guess we'll put it in the middle there. Make that low priority because it takes electronics. And then once we have all this stuff kind of established, maybe we put this low priority too. Really, everything should be low priority about this. But once we do that, then uh, we can get a drone commander in the place here. Start making lakes, all sorts of things, and uh, get this dome connected too. All right, finally, this is up and ready to go. So we want double shifts, heavy workforce, and we want to amplify it. That's going to create even more electronics than we've ever had before. Then we get this one operational. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. They're already starting on that too. I like it. You should not be accepting... Yeah, quarantine. You are not accepting people. Let's make sure that you don't accept any of these two. Although I could make another renegade dome too. You stick them in the low ground down here, huh? Right where the meteors are. Bunch of problem children. Meteor incoming. Uh oh. 
No. Leave me alone. Let's preemptively kill this. So it'll be on its own power source now. This over here. It's on its own power and its own... Wait. Oh, it doesn't have its own power. Shit. We need to expand our power grid then. Yeah, we need to expand that power grid. Definitely do. Because those domes don't have any power anymore. We need to expand that. Um, hopefully this gets repaired pretty quickly. Yeah, they're already on the case. But that is a problem. So, Meteor incoming. big problem. Fusion. We're going fusion. I think we have to at this point, right? Fusion reactor. We got to go. We got to do this. I'm going to put it right. I'm going to put it right here so both domes can work it. It's 15 electronics. Damn. Let's make this happen as fast as we can. Oh, no. It's going to destroy the whole damn thing. God, I hate these meteor strikes, man. I freaking hate these things so much. Damn it. Rebuild it, please. Ah, oh, damn it. Urgh, grr. <laughs> this new factory was looking so good, though. It was. It really was. And not anymore. Not anymore. Things scrubbers don't have power. Um, of course, we want to make... Man, everybody's going to die now. Um, let's... Talk about, let's just get power running first. We'll, we'll talk about uh, wind turbines. We'll go like this really quick. See if we can get them operational. It should be more effective now that we have the... Uh... Yeah, we'll go about like this with it. Let's go, guys. They're just concrete and machine parts. You have tons of that. Let's go. What's the power deficit? I wish I could tell localized deficits that way, but I can't. These are big priorities. Please do this first. Um, yeah, actually, all wind turbines are now maximum priority. Go. All wind turbines. Do these first before anything else. Get them running. Get them operational. We need to get all this stuff back online. This whole place should have been... I mean, I, I thought it was, kind of, but not really. I guess I didn't, I didn't really... I didn't measure it out beforehand. I've been too busy, so my bad. We'll get all of these running, hopefully, very close. And domes are starting to kick back on. Life support's operational. Very good. Meteor incoming. So now, if the meteors want to just destroy my entire life. Destroy all of my... Oh, my God. This has got a long duration. It's going to move all the way to this dome. This is all quarantine still. There's still nobody here. But it's going to move all the way to this dome. Hawking Institute's going low priority, so I don't rob the electronics. So this is a research facility, right? Because we have, well, we have the research site here. Um, we'll have people living here too, but that's mostly a research site. Get out of there, Opportunity. Get out of there. Whoa, that was cool. I mean, it wasn't, but it was kind of cool. Opportunity, let's get you out of there. Use this tunnel and get up, get the hell out of there. Hurry up. Uh, we actually may not be able to use this tunnel. It may, just, it may get destroyed. It did. Shit. Really? Screw you. <laughs> I freaking hate this thing. All right, Opportunity, just get the hell out of here, please. I can't have another one of you guys just getting wrecked all the time. Really, really annoying. Can we just mark none of these for rebuild? Because I feel like we're going to go through so much supply here. Just cut this entire area off of power. No power pass through. Yeah, no power pass through here. No Me water pass incoming. through. Just, just everything's just going to die, okay? Everything just gets hit and dies. <laughs> We're operational here with our own power sources. Um, kind of. We can go polymer blades here. I think we have enough to support that. And then, uh, as we have both electronics factories operational, we'll want also want to get another scrubber set up. And I'm going to put that, I think, uh, 
Well, I want to expand this to see how wide it goes, but I'm pretty sure this will work, so... This one should work. It's, this should be in range. I'm going to put it here. Yep, so let's get... Um, well, I want I want the I want the wind turbines first. So let's make sure all of these are top priority for a second. With polymer blades being activated on these, we should see the electronics factories kick on. But just in case we don't, why don't we shut this one off so that this one can flourish? And then we want factory AI, which takes even more electronics. So we'll have to wait till we have a supply there. But Meteor incoming. God, really? Are you kidding me? Oh, you're going to work on the, uh, on the pipes again. Yeah, very nice. You know what? I can... Oh, you did destroy my drone hub. Oh, God, I hate this thing so much. <laughs> Come on, you can't get to 50... You can't get... Is it... What? Again, I never remember this. 55%? No, the meteor storms don't end until 80%. Well, we can't possibly go any slower then, can we? Greenhouse gases is already in route. So we're already flying to that special project. We have about uh, a little over a day left in that. And then uh, we can also capture some more ice asteroids if we'd like to. We're also flying to that too. So we're doing all these things. Yep. Both of our rockets, we kind of interrupted Curiosity from its export. Oh, please leave this alone. Please. I mean, all this stuff has kind of been put on low priority anyway. At least it is now. <laughs> Let's also put the tunnel on low priority so they don't rebuild it in during the storm. But I feel like this tunnel is also going to get screwed. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, leaks everywhere, but it doesn't matter. This is completely isolated. I mean, it really doesn't matter if we valve it because the tunnels themselves are the valves and they are not allowing any passage. So eh, that's what it is. Uh, we're going to work overtime. We're working all the way through the night here. We need a massive production of electronics more than anything else. So, but at least this is operational now. Meteor incoming. And it's operational with always on power. With polymer blades set up and ready to rock. We have so many machine parts. It made sense to do that. And then now we just need scrubbers so we don't have to maintain them anymore. So we'll turn the tribal electric scrubber on higher priority and same thing with this one. So we'll get both of these built so we don't have to maintain these. Where are these? Yep, 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 yep. They're hitting everything. Um, now, I think you, you know, you are not connected to any grid yet. Yeah, intentionally, because you are not set up yet. Okay, so we're getting a meteor storm and a toxic rain at the same time. That's cool. That's really cool. I think I'll leave it here. <laughs> Yeah, this is a good spot to stop, actually. I think it is. Great spot to stop. Uh, at least you can see these guys are, you know, surviving. They're maybe not happy, but they're definitely surviving. Go ahead and tell them that they can use passages for everything if they want to. And, uh, yeah, let them do the things that they want to do. We're going to have to set up lots of comfort things over here. But primarily, this is a manufacturing facility. This, this area is meant for manufacturing purposes. So, um, lots of machine parts. Um, let them have jobs, working overtime, making electronics. It's what we do here. The shuttles should hopefully keep us, or give us a steady supply of rare metals. And um, just to help with power locally, we can also activate this fusion reactor. And then we'll have power for the foreseeable future on this entire product. Um, all of this stuff, this project, not product, but anyway, yeah. So the rain is here. We're almost 50% atmosphere. And uh, if you recall, 55 and 55, those are our target numbers so that we never have to deal with dust storms again. So that's what we want. 50%, sorry, 50% atmosphere. The, what's the 55 and 55? Toxic rains ending is 55 and 55. Uh, kill me now. Anyway. Oh, God. Cold waves will end in two at 50% on the uh, temperature as well. Very good. Very good. So I think... We've seen our last dust storm, guys. Because the atmosphere is going up. Especially after this is done. This is already in progress. It's got 22 hours left in it. This is going to add 2% to the atmosphere. So that's it. That's all we needed. We'll never have to deal with a dust storm again. Which means... 
Well, it means that our shuttles will always work. Which is very good. Um, it means the logistics and supply chain are completely good for everything we want to do. It also means that Timmy can come over here and start getting us some of these machine parts and all this stuff and start bringing all the supplies. Timmy, I want you to bring all of this stuff that's over here. All of it. I want you to bring it over here in range of this so that it can be distributed to the shuttle network. Although it probably can still be distributed to the shuttle network. I don't think that's actually stopping it, but... Eh, whatever. There's a scrubber. It's online. The other scrubber is going to get built very soon. There's the Mars Quake. So, Meteor Shower, Toxic Rain, and Mars Quake. All at the same time. Isn't it wonderful? I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much. I know, I already said that, but I'm just having too much fun. I appreciate you watching. It's been wonderful having you. I hope you'll come back next time. Bye-bye.